most of you have used Outliner before. And I also told you a quick trick in Outliner a while ago. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll be posting that link in the description. So make sure to check that out also. But what about Hypergraph? Well, Hypergraph is another way which helps you organize your scene in Maya. So I welcome you all to CG family. If this is your first time here, I would love if you give a quick look around at what we are offering. Check out our other videos. And if you find something worth sticking around for, consider subscribing. We upload a video every Sunday. Now, let's take a quick look at Hypergraph. It's located under Windows, Journal Editor and Hypergraph. Here you'll see two options to choose from, Hypergraph Hierarchy and Hypergraph Connections. Let's select Hierarchy first. It'll open in the new window. Now this place is where you see all these nodes is called Floating Viewport. You can interact with it like any other viewport. Alt plus middle mouse to drag. Alt plus right click to truck and you can use the mouse wheel to zoom. You cannot orbit by Alt plus left click because it's a 2D viewport. Now its use is pretty much similar to the outliner. It has parent node and their children attached to it. Just like the hierarchy in the outliner. Now to help you in the larger scenes, Maya has some buttons up here. The first four are going to help you frame your nodes better. With the first one, you can frame everything that's in your hierarchy. The second one is going to highlight your selection. The third one is going to highlight the hierarchy of your selection. Now the hair is under hats and the whole hats hierarchy is this. But if I select this eyewear, and I select this option now. Now this is going to select the hierarchy below your selection. So my selection has eyewear, default one and eyelashes. Now other two important buttons are these and they are the same as in the windows, general editor and these two. So the hypergraph hierarchy and connections. So this one is hypergraph hierarchy called scene hierarchy here and input and output connections is hypergraph connections. So when you click on any object and click on connections, it will be like opening a new windows general editor and hypergraph connection. Now you can go back to the scenes and to the connections. Now hypergraph connection shows you the nodes that are affected by your selected object. Let me select eyewear and go to hypergraph connections. So my selection eyewear is affecting the shape node and the shading group. Now if I select the shading group and click on connections again, it's going to show the connections that are attached to this. So in a way, if I click on it again, hypergraph connections is pretty much same as the attribute editor. It shows you the connected nodes of your selected object. Now there's one thing I would like to mention. So what's the difference between hypergraph and the outliner? Well, if you're working on a bigger scene that has too many hierarchies and you do not just want to keep opening them here. So unlike the outliner where you have the vertical hierarchy in here, you can right click, go to options orientation and choose horizontal, vertical or the one I like schematic. So in the schematic options you'll have your parents node up here and then all the children down here and their children down there. So for example if I connect this top node or let's say if I connect this body node by middle mouse and dragging it on heads it's going to create three nodes under the heads and then these three have their own children and this one has its own. So this is much better way to organize your scene if you're working on a larger piece. 
So this will be it for this video guys. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button, comment your views down below, subscribe to our channel CG family and hit that bell icon so you'll get the notification when we upload our new videos.